Hi. Yesterday, I allowed and accepted myself to believe that it was okay and it is okay to not document my process daily. Using excuses like, I'm not paying to participate in any destiny course, so I don't have to document my self-application on a daily basis. And within that, I actually allowed and accepted myself to abuse myself and abuse myself as self-accountability by not proving myself and to my outer world as myself that I am indeed living self-accountability and building self-trust within myself by living self-accountability here in every moment proven by, first of all, always being watchful of myself as myself here, immediately correcting what needs to be corrected, and secondly, proving my self-accountability, that I am living self-accountability in my outer world as myself, by broadcasting myself, so to speak, within the vlogs I produce and the blogs and the writings that I share on the Destiny Forum. And recently, I'm finding myself to be and live and express myself more articulately than I have before. And within that, I have asked myself this on several occasions whether I am living as this to project a high-class, high-status, superior status of myself, or am I articulately expressing myself from a starting point of ex from a starting point of supporting myself to the utmost specificity, to the utmost extent, to the utmost extent that I can support myself to be self-honest, to take responsibility for every point, for every interaction that I exact on this world, every action that I take in this world, and correcting every action that is actually abusive and self-abusive. And now I'd like to discuss a point about sleeping, because today I saw that I slept in because I believed being in my bed under a blanket to be more comfortable than standing up for myself, doing what is most practical, which is only sleeping for six hours at most, maybe seven at the most, at the edge, at the, ex at the absolute most I can sleep, 
that I need to sleep. And giving myself more time, therefore more opportunity for myself to do what needs to be done and to give myself an extra few hours to do useful things for myself and for others, such as blogging about my experience, blogging about my experience, participating within Destiny, commenting, writing, or blogging, and studying, learning more about myself, and perhaps exercising and finding a self-supportive point within exercising. What I lived today in order to get myself to wake up was what Fred Chung has shared in one of his posts saying that a long time ago, Bernard said, said something like to motivate oneself to wake up, to imagine and pretend that there is a fire underneath my bed. And Fred also added that for his, himself and his application, he applied and lived and pretended that there was a fire of mind consciousness systems and self-sabotaging, self-destructive patterns underneath his bed, brewing until he stood up for himself and woke up and got out of bed and brushed his teeth and started his day. So this is day one of applying that specific application and so far it works. So I will continue with that self-application and if there are interesting things to share within that or it no longer works, I'll blog about it again and discuss about it again. And also, as a consequence, as a manifested consequence of actually trusting myself more, and trusting my own perception more, I'm beginning to see how subtle every person's deception really is. Therefore, also seeing how I can never actually honestly trust other people to unconditionally and mathematically assist and support me. Therefore, in trusting myself more as I walk my process, I'm realizing that I can only trust myself. And if I trust other people on the outside, so it seems, I'm actually trusting his or her perception as what is here as myself, therefore trusting others as myself. And going back to the change within how articulate and specific I am in describing and exploring myself. 
what led me to look at myself from that perspective of self-doubt is within interacting with the dog, my dog, so to speak, Snowy, and being like this today, I noticed Snowy not being as affectionate and loving and accepting as she has been in the past. Therefore, either I am possessed by a pattern that I do not see myself, which is compromising my self-application, or Snowy is simply reflecting back to me that I am not loving myself, not accepting myself, and not affectionate with myself. I am not affectionate with myself. And in this moment, I do not see any pattern that I'm participating within that is compromising my self-application. Yes, I do. Arrogance. As knowing or believing myself to know more than others by always constantly correcting other people's statements in my own head, in my secret mind, secret closet, so to speak. Out of the fear that I might lose myself if I do not express myself as a mind-generated, mind-voiced, opinion, yet if I consider the situation in common sense, I would realize that common sense stands the test of time and does not need to be expressed and voiced out to exist. One only needs to integrate common sense as part of who one is. and live that common sense in every moment, rather than contriving an idea of common sense and then trying to feel alive by asserting that idea of common sense, that common sense idea, that idea of common sense to keep myself alive, or to believe, my, under the belief that I am keeping myself alive, only if I participate within and as the mind by always correcting other people's words in my head. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. And for those that regularly watch my videos, thank you so much for continuing to watch these vlogs and keeping me honest and giving me feedback. Thank you.